Okay guys, so welcome back to episode 4, I guess. So in this episode we will be changing the, the atmosphere of the game by providing it a world environment and some spooky flashing lights. And we will also adjust the monster as well. So let's start off by see where we left off last time. Uh, we created this grid, we had a monster and a player and the navigation or rather the pathfinding works well and everything. That's good. And if we run the game, uh, it's just bright and not that spooky at all. So let's change that by under level, let's create a new world environment. And this will take in a new environment, expand this one, and for the background, change to custom color and just give it a really dark gray just so you can see just so you can see the sky barely see the sky and i think that is that for uh, for the world environment so to be able to see we need some light and we will be using some flashing spooky lights so let's create a new scene Hit other nodes and search for light and choose spotlight. So as you can see, the light travels in this direction. Uh, we want to rotate that to be traveling downwards instead. So just hit negative 90 degrees on the x-axis. And that is awesome. We can change the name to flashing light. And we can provide this one with a script as well. Before we do that, just save it. And then we can provide it with a script. And for the flashing light, we need a variable, a timer. So we'll first off override the ready function and we call randomize. By calling this method, just uh, ensures that each time this script is, uh, uh, is running, new random values will be generated. Without this one, same random values will be generated all the time. So, timer equals timer.new. We need to create a new timer. We set the wait time, so the time for the, for the timer. Uh, and we set it to random, sorry, a random value between 0 0.05 and 0 0.1. We also need to connect connect a signal to the timer, or rather from the timer. Uh, the timeout signal, we set it to this object and we create a function called on timer timeout. We need to add the timer as well to this node and we also need to start the timer. So let's create that function real quick. So once the timer is finished, we need to set a new wait time, timer.wait time equals rand range, and let's choose the same values uh, as we did up here. And we also need to set the light energy to a random value between 1 between 0 and 1. So uh, by using this timer in on the on the on the light node we will get this flashing effect uh, by changing the light energy on the on the node. So let's save this and under C uh, under the level uh, let's go into grid map uh, we can create a spatial to provide a light container. So this node will hold all our lights in the maze. So let's instantiate uh, a light, flashing light. Move it in. Oops. Somewhere around there and we need to move it up as well. And let's duplicate this one and choose another location somewhere around there. Uh, be sure to use snap mode when you do this. I think they are all within the maze. Yeah, let's try it out. 
Okay, so here's our first light. That is awesome. And here's our second light. And yeah, so our and here's our monster. So we will change the monster a little bit. So let's go into the monster. And you can quick open uh, scenes by hit Control Shift and O, and choose monster. And let's give him a material. So first off, under mesh instance, uh, expand this mesh tab and hit spatial material. And under flags, choose transparent. And the color, we can give him a grayish, reddish, and just lower the alpha channel a little bit. So he will be transparent. And as a child of the mesh instance, uh, give a spatial spatial node and as a child of that give it a mesh instance rename this to ice provide this mesh instance with a sphere mesh and just low just scale this down to let's say 0 0.125 0 0.125 and 0 0.125 Yeah, it needs to be even smaller. Let's give it 0 0.0125, 0 0.0125, and 0 0.0125. And there it is. So he will be facing in this direction. So let's move, hit snap mode. Do not tip, hit snap mode. <laughs> and just move it up a little bit, something like that. And just move it out and duplicate this one and provide the other eye. Perfect, let's move them in a little bit so they're connected to his body. And choose one of these mesh instance and hit a new spatial material and choose albedo some reddish light red color and under emission hit on and choose the same color for the emission you can almost i think you can increase the value to three as well or something we could we, we should try different values on this one but i think that is it so if we run the game now the monster will have two eyes, but he won't be facing us. I don't think so. No, as you can see, he's just, he's not rotated to look at us. So let's change that up by going to the monster and the monster script. And we can, we can uh, self dot look at a target and we can we can uh, receive the target from target.globaltransform.origin and we need to provide a vector two, vector three up as well. And if we run the game now, I think he will be looking at us. I hope so at least, let's see. And yes it is, look at that, that is awesome. Okay, so let's just head into world environment and go under glow. So this will give our monster a little, little bit of glow on his eyes. So let's change this one to screen and the threshold 0 0.5. And uh, upscale this as well to give it a nicer outcome. So let's see. So his eyes is glowing and that is good. I think they are glowing too much. So let's head into monster and under his material. Whoops. Uh, let's change this to 1 or 1.2. Let's see if that is better. Yeah, much better. So this is it for this tutorial. Until next time.
peace out and by the way don't forget to subscribe and like and comment and do all that fun stuff to help me get rich peace out